morning. Today I have online class and in celebration of my online class, um, I ordered a stand for my computer. Everyone at my office has one because most of our classes are actually online. We don't really have that many students who come to our school and it's raining really hard outside actually. It's really dark today and really gloomy. Gloomier than normal. Oh, there you go. Okay. Mmm, cool. So is this how it looks like? Oh, interesting. I don't know if you saw my makeshift um, <laughs> setup last time. It was basically this breakfast table thing and then I put my camera behind it and then I added my iPad so looks good I'm really excited to use it yay <laughs> um, I did buy a wireless keyboard a really long time ago but the battery died so I have to go to the convenience store later and buy a new one. Oh, oh my gosh is it still alive <gasps> let's check I better sign into the Google Classroom. If you're late by even a minute, they mark you. And it um it automatically affects your attendance. Not that my attendance matters to keep my visa because I'm not on a student visa anymore, but I still don't like being late. So let me look for that. Hmm. Okay. Let's get started. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, oof. it's so heavy. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay. So after my class, I had lunch, I spoke with my Lola and yeah, we were just catching up and after that, I took a nap, a really long one and I just woke up now. So I think I'm going to go to the supermarket or the convenience store near my house. I'll buy a few snacks or maybe just one or two and then I'll get to studying so you can see kind of like my process when I study for a major exam because tomorrow... I do have a really big one coming up and I always get very nervous around exams but yeah let's get to the grocery store and I'm also anticipating a delivery from Amazon later today and I think it'll be really cool so yeah I'm excited for that. So I just came from the convenience store nearby my house and I picked up the haagen almond butter sandwich. I tried this the other day and it was really good. I wanted to get it again <laughs> to motivate me to study. And I also got these Jujutsu Kaisen chips. Super good. I had it the other day with Shogo, so maybe I have to split this. He might get upset <laughs> if he found out I ate it. He really liked it as well. So speaking of snacks and Jujutsu Kaisen, I'm wondering, number one, who is your favorite Jujutsu Kaisen character? And number two, tell me what you guys think would be a good prize or giveaway 
present i guess because i really have no idea i haven't done a giveaway in years and maybe things change maybe you guys want skincare or makeup or snacks i have literally no idea so if you could drop a suggestion um in the comment section down below that'd be so helpful so yeah basically after i eat these snacks maybe i'll watch an anime a guy named natsume and his grandmother left behind a notebook filled with her friends' names and her friends are actually Japanese yokai or like demons, not so much demons, like not scary demons, not like Demon Slayer, more like friendly, more cartoony looking demons. So yeah, it's not as dark <laughs> and I've been really enjoying it. The Japanese is surprisingly a little more difficult to understand, but it's really good practice. So I'm going to do that. And then after I do that, I will get to my studying, I promise. <laughs> oh, let me show you my desk. So we have my notebook. And we also have my books, my external, how do I say, external keyboard, my Bluetooth keyboard, my iPad, and my laptop with this new laptop razor that I got recently. Really handy. I'm so upset I wasn't able to get one sooner, but I'm glad I have it now. This is how it looks like, in case you guys are wondering. Nothing special, it just looks like an ice cream sandwich. So I'll be starting to study now. Um, I've already done, I think, half of this. I'm already halfway through the grammar. I just need to do three more weeks and then I'm done. So that's 12 more grammar points and then I'll head into vocabulary. So as you can see from my notebook a while ago, I rewrite all the grammar notes and I pick one sample sentence from the book and then I try to make my own if I have time. If not, then I just don't do that. Um, because it's not like an essay writing exam anyway, it's more of just pick which is the right grammar point in the sentence. So this is what it looks like. So this is the grammar point, the meaning in English, and a sample sentence. It's very straightforward, but I like to rewrite because it really commits it to my memory. Okay, so I'm going to start on week six, day number four. Yay! Let's see how it works. I'm taking it easy today. I made a really nice breakfast. I tried to make the TikTok sandwich 
didn't go as planned but it still looks pretty good so i'm happy about that and also i just want to say thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers i started this youtube channel a million years ago and i was posting consistently but then something happened and i had to stop i just didn't feel safe posting videos but after a while after i got over it I just decided to try to post videos more and while it took a while to stay consistent, I just want to say thank you so much and we did this together and I hope that moving forward, I can share more of my life in Japan with you and I'll try to get to all of your video requests. Um, I tried to get to the kanji video request as soon as I could but I didn't really know how to format it so thank you so much for waiting. Anyway, um, I just want to say thank you. I'll probably do a separate video where I shop for the items that I want to give away. Of course, it's going to be open to people from the Philippines because mo majority of my audience is from there. So thank you so much. And yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye.